Hello, this is Katie Fredenberg, nurse educator at the Jaslyn Diabetes Center. Today we're going to be talking about blood glucose monitoring. Supplies you would need to check blood glucose is the blood glucose monitor, the Lancet device, the Lancet, the blood glucose test strips, and an alcohol swab, or you could use soap and water. Steps to check your blood glucose is you're going to gather all of your supplies. You're going to load your Lancet device with the Lancet. Washing your hands is very important, either by using an alcohol swab or using soap and water and making sure your fingers are dry before you prick. You're going to insert your test strip into your meter. Prick the site with the Lancet device. Usually fingers are suggested. And put a drop of blood on the test strip. In seconds, the meter will give you your reading. When to check your blood glucose? Ask your healthcare team when it is best to check your blood glucose for your treatments. Most of the time, it is recommended before breakfast, before lunch, before dinner, and before bedtime. Sometimes it is helpful to check two to three hours after a meal to see if your treatment is working. Sometimes you may also be asked to check blood glucose around 2 a.m. or middle of the night. What to do with the results? Write them down on a log sheet or in a record book. You want to bring these records with you to all of your appointments, or you can bring your meters to all of your appointments for downloading. You can look for patterns in your numbers. All numbers are helpful and there are no good or bad numbers. Please refer to the handout in your packet to review the appropriate targets for your age. You may also refer to your provider's orders. Call your provider if you have two consecutive low blood glucose numbers below 70 or if you have three to five days where your numbers stay above your targets. Your results will help you and your healthcare team to make decisions about your diabetes treatment plan. Some factors affecting blood glucose. Illness, stress, too much food can all raise glucose levels, exercise and activity more than usual, or too much medicine may lower blood glucose levels. Some tips on getting good drop of blood. Before poking your finger, you can try washing your hands with warm water and dry well. You can also shake your hands below your waist or milk your fingers a few times to get the blood to the tip of the finger. Some other helpful hints. Check your blood glucose more often if your diabetes treatment plan is changing. If you are exercising or more physically active than usual, most of the time before activity, we recommend using a blood glucose of at least 130 milligrams per deciliter. And if you are not at least 130 before activity, following the hypoglycemic protocol. If you think you're having a higher low blood glucose level, you might also want to check your blood glucose more often. During periods of stress, or if you are sick, or just not feeling well is also a good time to check more often. Storage and disposal of supplies. Storage, store supplies in a cool, dry place. Avoid extreme temperatures. Keep lids tightly closed on glucose test strips when not in use. Dispose lancets and syringes or needles in a designated container, either a biohazard or anything thick plastic with a tight fitting lid. So empty laundry detergent containers or a coffee can may do. You also want to seal the container with tape when nearly full and discard according to the local guidelines or contaminated for the contaminated waste products. Thank you for tuning in.